Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to deploy step-by-step -step Glassfish Word's first Java Enterprise Edition 7 application server on Ubuntu 15.04. Basically, if we go and study Glassfish, it is regarded as an open source application server project started by Sun Microsystems for the Java Enterprise Edition platform and now it is sponsored by Oracle Corporation. The supported version is known as Oracle Glassfish Server. So if we call off a definition, you can say Glassfish is regarded as a free software dual licensed under two software licenses, the common development and distribution license that is called CDDL and the Gen GNU general public license that is called GPL along with class path exception. It is basically the reference of Java EE as supports Enterprise Java Beans, JPA, Java Server Pages, JMS, RMI, Java Server Pages, and Servlets, etc. So if you want to have no, uh, if you want to know more about this Glassfish server, you can go to this glassfish.java.net, and if you click on this Get Started. You can uh, crawl down and you can find this documentation page over here. If you click over here, you can find all the guides, all the tutorials over here. And in this video, I am going to demonstrate you how to install Java Glassfish server on Ubuntu 15.04. So let us start and install it. So now you can see that uh, I have already started my Ubuntu Linux and I have installed a new Ubuntu. You can even install new and you can follow all these steps which I'm going to give you over here step by step and you will be able to install Java, you can say Glassfish server. So let us proceed. So now you can see that I have logged into my personal user account. So let us uh, uh, log out and log in into root. So let us give the command that is called su space hyphen and let us give the password. Now let us update the system first. So let us give the command apt hyphen get update. So let because uh, before we proceed with any work, it is better it is better that we can update the system so that latest repositories, latest versions can be crawled into Ubuntu and we can have the latest version installed onto this. And in this video, I'm going to deploy Glassfish 4.1, which is the ultra latest version, which is launched under Ubuntu 15.04 by Oracle's uh, Oracle Corporation under Java Glassfish. So it has done. So let us give the first of all, we have to add the Java properties. So before we add, it is very important that we should add the Python software properties. So let us take this command. Let us copy it and let us paste it. So now it has already been installed to the latest version. So if you have not installed it, you can just uh, go to this command, click on yes, and the latest repositories will be installed. So the next step is to add the Java using the add apt repository. So here is the command. We just copy and just paste it. So you can say that uh, we have to press enter in order to generate some keys. And after that, we will update the system so that the Java latest installer can be installed. So now you can see that it has created the JPG keys and it has imported successfully. So let us clear this and now let us update the system so that the latest repositories can be crawled and it can be merged up into the Ubuntu update files. So after this, we will be installing the Oracle Java it installer using this command. So some of the, you can say things have already been installed into my Ubuntu. So if you're using somewhat uh, out, outdated version, you can just install it. So no worries about that. So let us clear this and let us paste this command for installing the Oracle Java. It. So it has already been installed and uh, it will be upgraded. So now we have to set up the Java home environment. So let us uh, open the Vim editor using this command. So it is installing Java. So it will take some time because it is about 175 MB. So till it install, let us pause the video for some time. So now we can see that we have almost uh, on the verge of the finishment of the download of Java 8 uh, Oracle. And uh, after the download, it will be installing the Java 8. So now you have seen that uh, I have installed the latest Java and it is removing the old Java edition and we have got the latest edition. So 
so now we have to set the java home environment so you can see that the java 8 has already been installed and java has already been installed so now let us go to this command and let us paste it so vim environment so over here we have the we have to add the this line at the bottom so let us copy this line and let us go to this insert mode and let us paste it so you can say that we have uh, given the save and now let us go to this command that is called source slash etc slash environment and let us take the java version so give this command java space hyphen version so now you can see that the java version has already been set now we have we have to install the glassfish server so let us go to this uh, directory let us clear this so cd slash temp i will be downloading the glassfish server at this uh, location so let us give this command at the wget and let us paste it so it will be downloading the latest java uh, glassfish server on this folder so it is about 103 mb and uh, it will again take some time so till it uh, updates and let us it download let us pause the video for some so now we can see that uh, almost we are on the verge of the download of glassfish 4.1 the zip file and uh, within a matter of 30 seconds we can say that we will be completing up the download and after the download we will be starting up the unzip file and after the unzip we will be setting up the glass path and we will proceed with the with the final glassfish server deployment so just a few seconds more and uh, we will be finishing up the download of this glassfish 4.1 zip file So Glassfish, we can say it's a very important server and it's a do give it a shot. And uh, believe me, you will be finding a very good platform for uh, deploying up all your enterprise servers and uh, on the Java base. So now the download has been finished. So let us install one software that is called unzip software. So apt get install unzip. So unzip is already installed, so we don't have to require it. So let us go and use this command to unzip the glassfish and we will be using the slash opt folder to unzip that glassfish. So it is unzipping all the files. So it has unzipped. So let us go to this and we have to set up the glassfish path. So let us go and open this profile file. Let us paste it. And now we have to add this following line to the end of this file. So let us copy this, let us come to the end, insert mode, and let us paste it. So now we can save it with WQ, and now let us give this command source profile so that everything has been added up. So it has been added. So let us start the Glassfish server by giving this command as admin start domain. So you can say that waiting for domain one to start. So very soon we will be starting up the domain. So it has started. So let us uh, get the IP config of this uh, machine. So that is called 192.168.117.167. So let us copy this and let us open the Firefox browser. So first of all, we will going with the server port. Let us wait for the Firefox to start. Yes, it has started. So let us give this command, this IP address colon 8080. So now you can see that the Glassfish server is up and it is running. So which means that we have successfully installed our this thing. So let us enable the admin. So AS admin enable the secure admin login. So let us go and paste this command. So Let us change the admin password. So let us type the name admin and let us give the new admin password. So you can say that there is some authentication failure. So uh, let us remove this. So let us, you can say, go to this address now. And let us change this to this address that is 4848. So now you can see that the admin console is starting.
So don't worry about those commands. Uh, sometimes it may happen. So let us wait for some time. And yes, so this is the main console and you can see that everything is there. So coming off this task, you can see that the admin user has already been logged in and now you can create your new JDBC resource. You can create your own connection pool. So lots and lots of you can just click on this change administrator password. So you can uh, give the new password and now let us save it. So I don't want to save the values. So let us log out and let us log in with the admin. So now you can see that the admin password has been changed. So you can just change the password over here rather than to give the command file. So it is also okay that to take these commands and otherwise there is full shot over okay. So in this uh, video, we have learned about how to deploy the Glassfish server. So do give it a shot. It's a very good server to learn and you can find more tutorials on Glassfish official website, which I will be giving you the link downstairs on this video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much.